Next questions relate to North Valley's High School and its two middle schools. North Valley's High School and Cold Spring Middle School were built in the early 2000s and O'Brien was rebuilt a year ago. While generally well-maintained, recent facility assessments comparing these facilities to the newest standards found that they lack some features that support modern instructional models such as larger classrooms and flexible collaborative learning hubs, and that some building systems are near the end of useful life requiring significant renovation investment. Current projections show stable enrollment, a distinct change after many years of sustained rapid growth, a reflection of the current state of slow residential development in North Valleys. With more than 2,400 students, North Valleys High School is the largest in Washoe County and is crowded, getting by for now by the use of portable classroom buildings. The district has long planned to construct a new high school in Cold Springs but there aren't yet enough students to support a second high school, putting the district in a holding pattern until housing development resumes. While the plan remains unchanged to eventually build the new high school, several options are being considered that would help address the needs of North Valley's high school students in the meantime. Facility options for these schools in no particular order are Option A, monitor high school growth under the current operating model. In this option, continue monitoring area housing developments and enrollment projections and initiate land procurement and development of new high school in Cold Springs area sometime in the future. But in the meantime, North Valley's high school students will have opportunity to attend the new Debbie Smith Career Tech Academy, which is scheduled to open in the fall of 2025 for some capacity relief. Otherwise, continue the use of portable classrooms to address crowding at North Valley's High School and conduct renovations with focus on school safety, student and staff wellness, collaborative learning, special education services, and supports for new and enhanced signature and magnet programs. Without additions, this project would preserve the same floor plan. Option B, North Valley's High School Additions and Renovations. This is similar to option A, except it includes a new state-of-the-art classroom building to increase, uh, increase capacity by 200 to 300 students, enabling the existing building to undergo a more comprehensive renovation with a revised floor plan. With new flexible learning hubs, new library and better situated admin area with secure single point of entry. This results in a building closer to the current standard set in the new Hug High School opened in 2022 and effectively commits North Valley's High School to a large 2,400 student population for at least 10 or more years following the project until housing development picks up and a second high school is built. Option C, new high school signature programs on the Cold Springs campus. This is the same as option A, in which you keep using portables and renovate, but it also relieves crowding by creating new voluntary opt-in high demand high school signature or magnet programs to be temporarily housed in the Cold Springs Middle School campus, relieving crowding at North Valley's High School until residential growth resumes triggering new Cold Springs area high school. This would be made possible by renovating Cold Springs which currently has over 700 surplus seats to provide physical separation of high school and middle school students. Option D, North Valley's ninth grade center on Cold Springs campus. This is similar to the last option, option C, except instead of voluntary programs, it moves all North Valley's high school freshman students coming from both Cold Springs and O'Brien to the Cold Springs Middle School campus, relieving crowding at North Valley's High School as a temporary measure until residential growth resumes, triggering the new Cold Springs Area High School. This again would be made possible by renovating Cold Springs, which currently has over 700 surplus seats to provide physical separation of high school and middle school students. Please rate your level of support for each draft option on its own individually and note that you can indicate support for all, some, or none of the options. Then, we will ask for your help in scoping and prioritizing projects by asking which educational programs need facility improvements the most. 
There is also an open-ended comment question at the end of the survey where you can expand on your answers.